His killer inflation today is a direct result of the double whammy of overextending our foreign military obligations in eight different war zones and unlimited domestic bailouts for any institution, company, or individual suffering financial reverses. Now, despite the highest taxes in U.S. history, the government can no longer raise enough funds to pay for Social Security, veteran services, public education, or health care. With a few lucky exceptions, our major cities have become war zones, ravaged by food riots, arson, and terrorism. Our rates of unemployment and homelessness have never been worse in this, the second Great Depression. Once the U.S. federal government began paying off foreign creditors with funds the Federal Reserve Bank created out of nothing, our economic security and civil liberties were both doomed.